All right, ladies and gentlemen. So this video is going to be based off the slider block assignment that we have from this week. So this part is a little unique. Um, basically, we have a 60 degree angle right here, right? That doesn't look like a proper ink arrow, but you get the drift. <laughs> This is why I'm an artist, uh, not an artist, I'm an engineer. So we have two 60 degree angles, right? Now, I'm gonna erase these because I don't like how they look. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna circle, boom. I can't even draw a proper circle. You guys catch the drift. So <clears throat> these are gonna be drawn differently. Uh, same idea, different concept, right? So I'm gonna draw a grid right here. You guys are probably used to seeing this grid of math. Now, I'm going to draw zero degrees. I'm going to draw 180. This is a little difficult. <laughs> I'm going to draw 90 degrees. I'm going to draw 270, all right? So, you guys are understanding. Now, this is going in a, how can I say, clockwise rotation, right? No, counterclockwise, because clockwise would be this way. So it's going counterclockwise, so it's going like this, right? Now, basically what we have here for this line, we have a straight line right here. Right? So we know this is 180 degrees. And we have to go back. Right? So we're going to do 180 minus 60, which gives us 120. So that's going to be the degrees that we have here. Now, this is a little different. This right here is 90 degrees. Okay? So we have to go 60 degrees from 90 degrees. So that means when we are drawing this line right here, that we have to go, this is 180. I'm sorry, this is zero, right? So here to here is 90 degrees. Then we have to add another 60 degrees. That means we're gonna be at 150 degrees. So let's uh, get rid of this theoretical stuff and let's get down to work, okay? So as you guys know, I like to use my phone to have my drawings. Now, uh, basically, what I have to do is I'm going to start off with my object layer property. I know lately we've been talking about having your offsets, uh, your X lines, and the construction layer property. We don't quite need that yet. Let's draw the foundation first. Then when we're ready to draw the circles, we will get to the construction lines, okay? So I have it right here. I'm going to go my to object line. I'm going to draw a line right around here, okay? Uh, this one's going to be 4.5. Now, I'm going to go up one inch. I'm going to press escape because now we're going to draw this angled line. Now, when you're drawing this angled line, I'm going to want you guys to turn off ortho mode. You can either press F8 or this button right here. Now, I'm going to go to this endpoint. Remember, we have our constraints on. As you can see, we have free range. We don't have ortho mode restricting us, so great. Now, I'm going to bring it over to my left. I'm gonna type in the dimension, 1.5 inches. Now, I'm gonna press tab. You press tab to switch between the dimension and also the degrees. So, what did I say we were gonna do? We have 180 degrees, we have to subtract 60, so that's 120 degrees, okay? Now, we have this line right here. I have this line right here. This is the endpoint. Now, at this endpoint, I'm gonna type in 3.5. After I type in 3.5, you see here we have our, uh, basically our dimension, I'm sorry, our angle. So remember how I said this is 90, we have to add 60, so that's gonna be 150. Now, we don't have a dimension here, right? So what we're gonna do is we're simply going to connect it 
with this constraint right here, our endpoint. Now, we're going to create our X lines now. So I have construction. I'm going to type in X line right here in the bottom. And I see my dimensions. Oh, sorry, not that. I see my dimensions uh, are being offset from the right hand corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, click this endpoint. I'm going to turn ortho on right now. So I have horizontal and I have vertical. Now, I'm going to offset this over to my left. So this vertical line I have here, I'm going to offset it. So I'm going to offset it by one. And then I'm going to offset this by 3.5. Now I'm going to offset this horizontal line. Uh, I'm going to go up 0.5 and then I'm going to go up one. Now, as you guys can see here, I have my center point right here and my center point right here. I'm going to go to the circle draw down menu, a drop down menu, sorry, and the draw ribbon. So I'm going to click center diameter. I'm going to click this midpoint right here. As you can see, it says intersection. That's basically what we want. Oops, I made a mistake. I'm not perfect. I have to go into my object layer property. Now, I go right here. Now, perpendicular or intersection is going to pop up. Either way, it's correct as long as we know the point. I'm going to type in one inch diameter, and then I'm going to type in my half inch diameter, 0.5, right? So now that we have that, let's get to dimensioning. So first things first, I'm going to type, turn off my construction. I am going to go into my center layer property. I am going to go to annotate. I am going to go to center mark. I'm going to click this right here and this right here. Now we're going to start dimensioning. So I'm going to go home. I am going to go to dimension. Uh, I'm going to go to linear. I'm going to click these two endpoints right here, 4.5. I'm actually going to have to, uh, to bring those down a little bit more because we have more dimensions there. So I'm going to leave it like maybe about there. I'm going to do a linear again. I'm going to grab this point. Now remember, we are not going from this center point. We are going from this center mark right here. So like that, it looks better presentation is always key. I'm going to stop right there, and then I'm going to go to linear again, this endpoint to this endpoint, and I'm going to go down. Look at that, 350. It's coming together nicely, right? Now we have to get one more linear. So from here to here. Now, we have to do the circles, and we also have to, the diameter of the circles, and we also have to get the angles and the dimensions for the lines. So I'm going to go to, I'm going to click my drop-down menu and go to diameter. I'm going to click right here. There we go. We have one inch diameter. If you want to drag it to the other side, by all means, do your thing. And I'm also going to go right here. Okay. So, I forgot we also have to do the linear dimension for this. So, I'm going to go from this mark right here to here. There goes one. Then, I'm going to go from here to here. And we have 50. Now, I'm going to press escape. I'm going to move this 50 in between because I don't want it outside like that. I, don't, I really don't like that. I'm going to constrain it to the midpoint. Okay. Now, I have to get the angle, and I have to get the uh, length of the angled line. So, to get this length for this line right here, we are not going to do linear. We're going to go to the drop-down menu, and we're going to go to aligned. So, I'm bringing it like this. If we were to do linear, it would not be correct. You see how it's 1.3, not 1.5? That's why we don't do linear. I'm also going to get the aligned uh, dimension for this line right here. There we go. 
So now we are going to have to find the angular dimension. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this line right here. Sorry, let me do that again. This line right here. And why is it not letting me? Sorry. Usually should. I'm going to delete this uh, right here. I, I, I kind of see why. So there we go. This line and this line. Now you see we get 60 degrees, right? Make sure your uh, arrows are in between. And now we are going to do angular from this line to this line. 60 degrees. Look at that. Let me redo that. I want my arrows inside. I don't know. It's just a, it's just a me thing. There we go. Also, I'm going to bring back the linear line. The reason why it wasn't selecting it, uh, this line at first, because we have the linear line going from here all the way to the center mark, and it was picking up that at first. So this is the drawing completed. As you can see, we have our diameter. We have our center marks. We have our linear uh, dimensions. We have our aligned dimensions, and we have our angles. I will see you guys next video.